Hi, everyone. I'm Deanne. I am the founder of Life Coach University, and I want to let you know about how the Pay It Forward movement all started. A lady called Lindsay Dillon gave me a phone call. She made one phone call and it changed everything. This was at the start of the pandemic. And she called because she was really concerned for the British film editors members. She said, some of them are really stressed out. How do I help? And we had this conversation. The conversation lasted maybe 15 minutes. So let me just tell you that 15 minutes can change the world. So from this conversation, I then agreed to offer the British film editors a group coaching. And Lindsay at that point just said, hey, but you know, we don't really have the funding for this. And I was like, of course not. No one was prepared for this pandemic. No one had like a pandemic funding. So listen, I will just come and offer group coaching and I'll teach you all that I know that I can in the hours so that your editors can be better equipped to support themselves through anxiety, through um, stress and how to take care of themselves. And all I'm going to ask is that you pay it forward in whatever way you want. You can pay it forward in kindness. You can go make a cup of tea for somebody, however you want to do it. And so that was the, uh, that was the uh, conversation with Lindsay, 15 minutes done. We did the group coaching an hour and a half later. And then I started to get emails. I started to get emails about how editors were paying it forward. And one email landed in my inbox. And as I was reading it, I was just so emotional and in tears. I couldn't believe the impact that one hour of group coaching could have. And I was astounded by these editors. These are amazing people. They took the group coaching, they took the concepts, and they really applied it in their lives. And they paid it forward. So the story that got me moved was one of the editors, she also had another part time job, um, working at a cafe. And she just loved coffee. So she was there. And a, a homeless man came in and asked if he could have a cup of coffee because no one was dealing or handling with change so she got talking to him and um, she she really felt so much better after the group coaching call and so she was interested in like what's your story and the man told her um, I'm just really struggling my backpack is all wet my shoes are broken you know and I just don't have any money and she said, come back in a day, come back in a few days. Let me see if I can get you boots, if I can, you know, find something. I'll ask my friends. And that day she went past a charity shop and she went in and inside was a pair of boots, his size. And right beside the boots was a waterproof backpack. So she picked it up, left it at the cafe. He came back and he was so moved and asked her like, hey, why did you do this for me? And her answer was, you know, I think it was my pay it forward. And then she emailed me. And so this is the email that moved me to tears. And I started to um, tell all my life coaches um, and they were moved to tears. And so we knew that we were onto something, that this phone call that I had with Lindsay from the BFE was was starting a ripple effect because the more life coaches all around the world were asking, Hey, how do I do a pay it forward? Can you set us up? And so I did. And that's where life coach university now is offering so proudly pay it forward talks. It's all life coaching. It's all coaches around the world, giving pay it forward talks, PIF talks, and we do it all in the name of love, all for paying it forward. So we don't ask for any monetary exchange. 
All we ask is that you come, you attend a PIF talk, and then you pay it forward in any way that you want. And I want to let you know, British film editor members, that it is because of you. It's because of you and the governors at the BFE and that 15 minute phone call that I had with Lindsay, that this is because of you. All of this happened because of you. So thank you so much for making it happen.